Asifa, this is Lazy Mode, and welcome to today's video, guys. Once again, we are back at the Far Cry reset. Today, we're going to take a look at all the stuff that we're going to be able to obtain. And don't forget, guys, if you want to farm on that, you're definitely going to want to check out my video on the kind of exploit or glitch that's available where you can farm unlimited monedas now that we have the reset. I'll definitely link that video down below in the description. So if all this sounds like something you're definitely interested, a like would be greatly appreciated. And also guys, don't forget to subscribe, turn on all your notifications so you guys won't miss when our videos go live. So let's take a look at what we have guys. So this is the first time we actually get the insurgency right at the start of the map where we be, where everything began, which is gonna be right here down the island. And um, we're gonna be able to do not only do we have to do anti-aircraft, we also got to do the uh, military checkpoint and, of course, the FNC, which is the military base. Now, for the insurgency, guys, this is what we have available. So, as you guys know, we already know the rewards that we're able to obtain. But the main thing you guys want to definitely look into is what type of weapon we're going to get. And I know a lot of you guys were asking me, Laser, you know, I did the um, I did the special operations, but I wasn't able to open the chest. Remember, guys, in order to be able to open the chest, you got to get this key. The only way you're able to get this key is if you do all four of these things. And then you complete the final base. So make sure you guys complete all this to be able to do it to get that key. Because you're going to need this key to open up the special operations chest. So make sure you guys complete it to be able to do that. Now, this week's weapon that we're getting is called La Fiesta. Which is a grenade launcher. Which seems to be very interesting. The, the only thing that, that I don't like are the mods that come with it. So damage, velocity, accuracy, stealth, handling. All of that's amazing. It's one in the mag. But I wish it didn't come with a fire explode. I wish it would come with like a vehicle damaging one because this would be pretty dope. Because not only does it have improved movement speed while aiming, but it has improved weapon damage to enemies below you. I really wish this would be a little bit different, but it still might be really interesting to pick up just because aesthetically it looks really nice. Once I unlock this, I'll probably have a review and we'll go over it a little bit more in depth. But other than that, we should be good to go. Now, unfortunately, I'm a little bit sad today because we didn't get a brand new special operations, which I was expecting this one to unlock. But unfortunately, that one hasn't unlocked. So we have the Mesoic one, the Maceo, and the Cocodrilo. I have guides on all these three. So if you guys want to know where the special loot box is at or where the special key location to open the chest is at, I have guides for all these. I guess next week we're going to be getting this one. But what you do want to know is you want to know what's available in the black market. And the black market actually has some really, really good items, guys. We have three items that I highly recommend you guys definitely consider picking up. Number one, guys, if you recall in Far Cry games, the Spaz was definitely one of the best weapons. This time around, it's not the best weapon, but this one might be runner up for the best weapon or might be the best weapon. I haven't tested it out. I haven't played with it yet, but we do get the improved mods. So we do get some really good stuff on here. We definitely changed the ammo socket to put a better ammo socket right here, either to destroy vehicles or to do more damage to the enemies, which I probably would go with more damage to the enemies. We have two more additional mod slots, but we get the mod that everybody wants to get their hands on, and that is the overclock mod. And this just makes the gun even more powerful. So I'm definitely going to want to make sure I give this weapon a go and test it out because the spaz might be back, guys, especially now with this mod. Maybe that's why, it, you know, the the one that we have was a little bit underpowered or under, you know, underperforming. Maybe this one might just make it that better and make it make it runner up for best shotgun of the year or best shotgun in Far Cry. So we'll see what it goes. So we have two more additional mods. We're able to apply that, which looks really, really awesome. I think the, uh, the color sp uh, schematics are really awesome in that one. And then we also get this one right here, which is one of the most nice aesthetic looking. Well, tell me this doesn't look beautiful, guys. Tell me if that does not look amazing. That is one of the best looking weapons we have currently right now in the game. And definitely I would get my hands on this one. Really, really dope. Another submachine, guys, guys, this one right here, once again, comes with the overclock mod. We're going to have to give this a test in a swirl because the, the regular variant, the regular variant is actually pretty good. But this mod might actually put it up definitely high up on the stakes. Definitely the reload animation is the one that takes a little bit long with this one. But other than that, it has really good velocity and really good handling. Once again, we're going to have to give this a test try to kind of see where it stands. Now, when it comes to armor, guys, these are really good armor. But there are two pieces of armor that I think you guys definitely need to consider and put in your arsenal, especially with this pass coming out for us. So we have the, uh, the, uh, we have the gloves. The gloves come with greatly improves blast defense. I mean, we already have other gloves that do that. So these are not like a requirement, but if you want to just pick them up because you need them, you're more than welcome to. Then we have the steel plate leggings. This is going to improve blast defense and perish movements, move speed. Good, but not like worthy of wasting your money. Then we have greatly improves blast defense. Another one that's really good as well, but we already have stuff that, you know, that does that. This one's the one that I really think is going to be really, really good. This is going to improve weapon damage against vehicles. Now, this is pretty good because that means that maybe what takes two shots, what takes three shots, 
could probably get reduced to a one shot or a two shot kill when it comes to a tank, a helicopter. So we're going to definitely <clears throat> be picking this up and testing how effective this armor is against vehicles. Is it really that powerful? But this is definitely one that we haven't had before and one that I highly recommend you guys pick up because it might actually be pretty OP. Then we have greatly improved move speed after destroying vehicles, which ties in perfectly with this one. So after you destroy, destroy a vehicle, you get speed. But not, I wouldn't prioritize this one because, you know, how many times are you destroying vehicles, right? So it's not that often. And last but not least, we have improved movement speed after a shotgun kill. Now, this one might be really good paired with the spats or paired with a shotgun build. I think this would be really awesome. Like, once again, we don't have this anywhere in the uh, inventory. So if I had to pick out of all, you know, all the items and you only had a couple of monedas, definitely pick up the spats, would definitely pick up the helmet. And would definitely pick up the pair of boots. I think those are definitely the ones you want to go with. And the ones I would recommend. Now, let's take a look at what we have available from the marketplace. Did anything get resetted or did anything come in the store? So, as far as bundles are concerned, guys, we don't have any additional bundle. I think it's because there's still, you know, Halloween's still here. So, we didn't get no additional bundle. So, we still got the Circus bundle, the Chromatic bundle. We also got the uh, Cover Strike bundle. And this one actually got a huge price reduction. It was at negative 20 and now it's down to negative 26. So it does bring you down a little bit more money if you're trying to pick any of these up. This one got a huge increase as well and a decrease, I would say. So if you guys are trying to pick these up, these are still the same. Now, the only thing we need to check that we didn't check last time, of course, guys, is the equipment. Now, for the equipment, guys, we did get some weapons that I didn't mention last time. And that is the heavy, uh, the heaven and hell. This is actually a pretty good weapon. And aesthetically, it looks amazing, guys. Uh, but this weapon is pretty, pretty awesome. Really clean looking. Uh, this is uh, very similar to the one that we have. Uh, this is actually the weapon we have right now to pick up. So you guys see it's 300, but you're able to pick it up at the shop as well. We have the Miami Strip Grip, which looks really, really awesome as well that we're able to pick up from here. If you're trying to get, uh, you know, trying to get any, any guns and the Hammer of Gods, which looks amazing. So there you guys have it. That's what we have available for resets. We also got some new charms as well that came available. And Amigo outfits are still remaining the same. But overall, guys, that is the reset for this week around. Once again, I will have probably a review over the weapons we got this time around. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are excited because we're getting really close to the release of the DLC, which I'll have a separate video about that this week. Make sure you guys keep it locked in the channel. And don't forget, for all things Far Cry, make sure you keep it locked here. And I'll talk to you guys later. Dirt over there. <laughs> Cool this down!